If you're a perfectionist, this video is for you. Also, if you've got insanely high expectations of workers, in which case you'll be glad to see workers doing their jobs correctly. Here are super satisfying photos of perfectionism at work. Amazing! Usually when you go to buy a shirt and see a stack of tees, you have no choice but to unfold them and see the final design, which means most of the clothes get left like this. However, when you have medal-worthy staff, you can get shirts folded so perfectly and lined that they show the design from the side. Corner shelves are notoriously difficult to stack, which is why you need to hire a professional cherry stacker. We need more fruit stalls like this. I assume most IT departments or server warehouses look like this. That is, unless you have the person who organised this working for you. The organisation here is a thing of beauty, until you have to replace a bad wire, in which case all those ties have to be removed. I really thought most tyre stockpiles looked like this, a tyre ring mission should you have to find the specific rubber ring that has been requested. That is, until I saw this, a perfectly organised tyre stockpile. This is actually known as lacing, and it's the most space efficient way to store the tyres. Clearance items piles literally always look like a dump, an area that items are just thrown into. What we really need are local heroes like this guy, organising them for us. Let's be honest, he's probably in the middle of exams looking for any potential opportunity not to study. Either that, or he's evil and the photo order is reversed. Mowing the lawn in stripes is satisfying, but nobody has anything on this guy, intricately cutting the grass into a seriously cool design. Going by the haircuts some players display these days, it's obvious where this idea came from. Most supermarket shelves look like this, carrots just thrown on top of each other without much organisation. If they had a perfectionist working for them though, they'd get something like this. Great, until the first customer comes along and says, I'll take that one. These giant multicoloured cones are apparently piles of spices at a market in Marrakesh. That means somebody has painstakingly arranged each pile into a perfect cone. I'm not sure this one is super helpful though, because surely there's just an avalanche waiting to happen. They're probably just solid and coated with the powdered spices. Another hypnotic display of wire organisation that makes me fear looking behind my own computer. What happens when you need to replace the purple wire though? This Whole Foods display is mesmerising. The creator even created the great pyramids of cucumber in the centre. But look, someone messed up the peppers on the left hand side. For the love of perfect symmetry, why? Tell me why. Although I applaud the symmetry of this one, I have a few problems with it. First and foremost, what's with the limited variety? Secondly, it should be red, orange, then yellow. Finally, it looks like the bottles are actually supporting each shelf, so you're basically playing Jenga here. Make sure you have your wellies on. This colour-coded book layout is pretty, but it's highly impractical for anyone else than the person who has the intimate knowledge of the colour of every one of these titles. Here's another one also. It's also probably rather disturbing to those of you who'd prefer it to be size-ordered. As if the sight of an Oreo wasn't beautiful enough. Now it'll be totally obvious if someone went to the cookie jar. This desk at a university library is made up of perfectly fitted books. They're all real books, which is great, unless you actually want to take out a book, in which case this is a nightmare. Japanese department stores know how to stack socks. This is really beautiful. Except that beige pile, someone's clearly tampered with it. Same with that yellow one sticking out a little. This has got to be wedding hair perfection, especially if her name is Rose. I wonder how long it lasted and looked the day after. The creator of this display definitely wasn't drinking any of that beer. I now know what heaven looks like. If the driver of this truck packed all of that wood in the back of it, he seriously missed his calling as a professional Tetris player. It also makes me wonder how much time it took him to cut and place each of those logs. They must have been super heavy. Either that, or there's a fake door on the back, and the truck is actually full of heroin. I'm calling it. 
If only this guy was there to oversee the construction of the Tower of Pisa. The concentration on his face says it all. His design has even managed to hypnotize his chef to the left. This guy needs some tricks from the truck driver we saw earlier on. Nonetheless, without cutting the logs, this guy has done a great job. I'd keep my distance though. Flashbacks of Final Destination tell me it's not a good idea to be behind this one. Now this is a display. Bravo to the veg stacker out there who made this masterpiece. You deserve a turnip prize for this one. Even if I needed a coat hanger, I would not buy one from this place. Destroying a display like this would be criminal. Just look at how perfectly that top shelf is aligned. Sleek and aesthetically pleasing. Oh yeah, these are just beautiful. I just pity the guy that has to replace a cable from the center of one of these piles. These boxes fit so perfectly into the back of that truck. It may seem simple, but considering they had to deal with the wheel wells, we're likely witnessing a king stacker here. Either that, or we're witnessing someone who has created a false top of boxes and is smuggling things or people underneath. Kind of reminds me of this. These bottles fit so perfectly on that shelf. Shame they couldn't organize the labels as nicely. Now this is an organic display. I'm just stressing about those radishes toppling over though. That's an accident waiting to happen, surely. Ever wondered how well stocked and organized the supermarket is when it opens for the first time? Well, wonder no longer. Here's a load of pictures showing the grand opening conditions of one posted online last year. It was fully stacked with everything in its right place and labeled. Not gonna last, but cool while it did. Here's a vegetable store in Argentina. Some of those peppers look a little discolored though. More cables here for the cable enthusiasts among you. This one looks like it's come straight out of a spaceship. Bananas are my favorite fruit. This display would definitely get my approval. Unlike the others, you can take a pair without wrecking the whole display. That lime green bunch in the second row needs to go though. It doesn't belong there. It's wrecking the whole display. This candy display was clearly made by an expert perfectionist. But my question is, how do you get those junior mints when the ones in the center are gone? I sort of also feel an overwhelming urge to mess it up. Those stickers made me peel slightly uncomfortable about this one. But other than that, you have to give applaud to the apple stacker here. If only they could do the same thing for the ones on the left and the right. What happens when that cherry stacker gets promoted? He gets a job stacking watermelons like this, of course. Let's just hope there aren't many bumps on the road. This cabling job at a private residence in Fort Lauderdale is almost perfect. Let's just hope someone doesn't put a nail through that drywall. It's satisfying, though that black area is annoying me. If any bartender I see cuts and lays out the lemons at work like this, I'm straight up giving them a tip. This is lime porn at its finest. Flowers are super delicate items to transport, so they need to pack them tightly and efficiently, which is why we get awesome pictures like this. Someone's peeked inside a supermarket's flower delivery truck, and it looks beautiful. The good bars out there always have their bottles on show, and some displays are better than others. I honestly don't think I've seen a more clean and impressive display than this one though. Look how evenly spaced they are. The only problem is that you'll have to be rather tall to work here. Peas are usually pretty irrelevant. We mash them together or pour them onto the side of our plate without much regard. That's why this picture is really a peeling. Look at these stacks of sheetrock. They're lined up so nicely. The only issue is there isn't much continuity in the pattern between the stacks. A minus for effort here. Now this is cable management. Somebody is obviously being paid hourly here. It's freaking beautiful. Just look at the attention to detail with those fasteners. Most offices have a view of the car park that looks like this. If you ever notice a change of valet guy and then notice cars being parked like this, the new guy may be a little OCD. So this is what college textbook retailers do with all their profits. Spend it on extra staff to stack the books up. I bet they're structural engineering textbooks. Igloos are super cool and really satisfying designs to look at. 
You know what's more satisfying though? One made from wood. Probably won't pass fire safety regulations though. Tools are often sorted messily. I mean, there are some neat pictures of tool storage out there, like the organisation of these wrenches. I didn't know there were so many sizes, maybe he just has spares, but this one definitely takes a hammer to them. I salute this studly tool chest. Packing stuff tightly saves a load of money on transportation, that's why shipping containers are such an amazing creation. So when you have to transport or store a load of tanks, take a lesson from the person organising these tanks. That's a dangerous amount of OCD there. This is another awesome mowing pattern. It's apparently common for field landscapers to take creative freedom when mowing patterns like this, with checkerboards, spirals and more being made. This door and the circular window above it works so well, they've literally perfected this design. Plumbing can be messy and rather a pain to look at, but when it's done nicely, it can be a seriously aesthetically pleasing feature. Just look at this really nicely arranged plumbing. When you sharpen a pencil, do you ever try to keep the peel intact throughout? I know I do. Seems as though this person owned it though. I've never made such a long intact peel. Bravo. This is real Tetris experience at work. Look at those taster tots. Someone really deserves a raise. Whoever has the patience to organise a load of grains definitely has too much time on their hands. Not that I care much though, because this is freaking awesome. Look at those layers. Do you also spend hours trying to neatly organise your apps? I know I do, but this person takes it to another level, colour coding all of their apps. When your hoover fits perfectly under a cupboard like this one, you know you've made it in life. Most of the time it just ends up being the part of the house crumbs find refuge in. The textbook stack from earlier on has nothing on the person that created this. Look at how amazing that swirl is. Which picture satisfied you the most? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe, clicking that bell icon to never miss another video. Thanks for watching.